And with that, Rachel Robinson, the now 100-year-old widow of Jackie Robinson, helps dedicate New York City's newest cultural museum, honoring a cultural icon. Beyond family, it grew beyond race, it grew beyond sport. Located in Tribeca, the Jackie Robinson Museum contains personal artifacts from the Robinson family and historic memorabilia of the man who famously broke Major League Baseball's color line in 1947, becoming an icon of Americana and a legend of its favorite pastime. Uniforms, very uniforms on his glove. So, uh, is Eric Holder? They got stuff the uh, Cooperstown doesn't have. And without him, uh, you know, there would be no me. I, would be, I wouldn't be standing here, you know. I wouldn't have been able to live out my dream of playing Major League Baseball. And that's what Jackie Robinson was trying to do, is to try to break down racism and segregation and also worry about inclusion. While the museum chronicles Robinson's Hall of Fame baseball career and his service to the country with the Army, it also chronicles his role in the civil rights movement and fight for better race relations. The museum's administrators say one of its goals is to be a venue where conversations like these can still take place today. We want to be the place, as, as, as young people now say, a safe space um, where people will talk about race and not worry about, you know, sort of the, the initial backlash that happens when you say something on social media which is something Karen Malka hopes will happen. She came in honor of her father, Ron Robinowitz, who met Jackie Robinson when he was 10 years old, after his dad wrote Robinson a letter, telling him how much his son loved him. My dad always said it was a really interesting story, and by chance, because my dad, Jackie was from a big city, my dad was from a little town, my dad was Jewish, Jackie was Christian, and Jackie was black, my dad was white. My dad passed away um, a couple months ago and really wanted to be here, so I'm here to represent him. So. From Lower Manhattan, Antoine Lewis, Fox 5 News.